Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 17. Today I'm going to be giving you a like thrifted, sort of acquired clothing haul. Uh, most of what I'm going to show you is thrifted, but what I said is like acquired is I have gotten a couple of things just from people selling them. And I also got a really cool jacket that I bought for a bachelorette trip that I'm having to go to at the end of this month. I don't know if you can see Archie right here, but he is wanting to come to play. So here he is, of course. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get right on into it. Um, I believe I said Vlogmas Day 17. I am very much behind and I actually just uploaded this morning before I went to work or actually it uploaded while I was at work Vlogmas Day 13. So I'm too far behind to like keep getting caught up. So we're just gonna skip all the way to Vlogmas Day 17. So here we are. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions about what I'm gonna show you, just leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Okay, so the first piece, hey, don't bite me. Okay, so the first piece I wanted to show you guys is just this jacket that I got from Shein. Um, hopefully you can see it well enough because I can't see myself because I'm actually filming on my phone today because my camera died and I want to get this video up for you guys and I'm tired of waiting, but here it is. I think it was $56 and honestly $56 for the for the quality of this jacket just actually blew my mind because if you know Shein, it's very questionable of what it's going to be. If it's going to be good, if it's going to be really bad because it is fast fashion, but I needed a thick coat because I'm going to Nashville and it's going to be cold in Tennessee. And so I just got this one. Hopefully you can see it goes down to my knees. I love it. I'm just going to pair it with the black tight dress, black tights, black booties, or black docks. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this cute little jacket that I got. <laughs> okay, I have a whole bunch of thrifted clothes right here that I'm going to show you guys what I got. So, just coming off the top of it. Well, if I can get this right here <laughs> on my clothes pile. But just coming off the top, <clears throat> this was $3.99. And it's just, as I like to call, a grandpa sweater. It actually zips up. It's really stinking cute and you can like pair it with like a mock neck under it. That's my favorite combo is wearing like some sort of vest with a mock neck or even like a turtleneck. But I love it. It's a size large. I paid $3.99 for it. And I don't know anything about the brand Blair, but yeah, here it is. Um, I don't, I'm probably not going to try this on because I don't think it would look good under what I have on right now, but very, very cute. I'm very excited about this piece and I'm so happy that I found it. Moving on to the next one. I do actually know this brand. I'm sure most of you do that are watching this. It's actually an American Eagle. Well, it's not a American Eagle. It is the American Eagle uh, brand. And I'm not sure if it's like old or something or if they've rebranded their tags, but here's what the tag looks like now. And it's just this thick knit comfy sweater. I've already actually worn this once and I love the grandpa vibes that I get from this because I just paired it with a pair of black jeans, which actually I have on right now and my white Adidas Continentals. I can never pronounce it correctly. And I just was getting major 90s grandpa vibes and I loved every second of it. And I guess since I've talked about my jeans, the next thing up, which you can't really tell, but is I got these black jeans from the thrift store for $5.99 and they're Old Navy brand. And I've been wearing them constantly. I don't remember how much I paid for this sweater. I want to say it was $5.99 in a size extra large. Next, which I also have worn already. I've actually worn this like three or four times. And in my last video, you probably saw it. I got this thrifted flannel, very, very oversized. It's a, in a size 3XL. And I wanted to pair it, or I wanted to wear it like off the shoulder, like the collar kind of being off the shoulder, but at Hallmark, you can't show shoulders like that. So I just wore it buttoned up without, I think the top button, I did not button but I couldn't, yeah, the top button was not buttoned, but if I was not at work, I'd probably unbutton the second one and wear it off the shoulder. And then I also wore it the next day just over a graphic t-shirt. And it's just a really good staple to put, especially with freaking Mississippi weather where one day you wake up and it's 70 and the next day it's freaking 28. So 
a perfect little transitional piece because you could also throw like a big jacket over this, like a good winter jacket. Not probably the one I showed, but you know, like a puffer jacket maybe. Just, you know, some thoughts running through my head of how I would pair this, but I would honestly pair this. How I did pair it is I went for more of like the grunge look is what I call it. And I hope that's not, I'm not trying to be offensive when I say grunge look, but I wore this. I wore some like black jeans, my docks, and I have like these elephant horn earrings and a chain on, or no, I had actually like a gold snake chain on. And so it, it looked a little grunge. So yeah, that's that piece. Next, as I was telling you guys, I love a good mock neck and that flannel, I want to say I got for $4.99. This mock neck, which I have not worn yet, or turtleneck, it really just depends on who you'd ask of what it is, but this was $3.99. I got it in a size large at the men's section, and I bought this because I originally was like, wait, this is so cute, and I paired it over this grandpa sweater. So like a good um, monochromatic look of the nudes. And then wear like a black jeans and a black booty or black docks. I thought that'd be really cute. And so it's a good long sleeve too. And it's actually really thick. So that's very exciting. And yeah, so just this piece. <laughs> and lastly, what I got at the thrift store, which probably is my most excited piece, is I got this suit jacket. Because all over Pinterest, I've been seeing people in suit jackets pairing it with like something very simple underneath and it just looks so good so i got this ll bean it's in a 46 regular which i don't even know what that means for 9.99 and i love 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 this jacket i've yet to wear it but it's so fun to me it is at least it's probably not everyone's cup of tea but I just think it's so fun and it just adds a little something to it. I think I'm going to have to like get my grandmother to take the sleeves up just a little bit. Or you can even go just roll them inwards and no one would ever really know. But it's like a good layering piece because like right now, I probably wouldn't wear it exactly with this sweater just because this is more chunkier. There are shoulder pads in it. But it's just really nice and I like it. But that is everything that I thrifted. I think there are a couple more pieces that I have that I can show you. And I actually just got these for free because my mom's friend cleaned out her closet and was like, tell her to take what she wants. And so I took some things. So let me get into those real quick. Excuse me, sweetie. Okay, it's gonna be really quick. There's just three things. I first off got this puff, puffer vest and there is a red mark on it, but nothing that I can't fix. And I need to fix the zipper, but it was for free. So I didn't spend any money on it. Secondly, I just got this pullover. It's big. It's comfy. It looks fantastic. I have not worn this one yet, but it is in 2XL. So that means it'll be oversized on me because I'm normally like a true large, extra large. But I prefer everything to be in 2XLs because I like to be big and comfy. Like this sweater that I have on right now is a 2XL. But it's just like a little pullover. Make it cute if you wore like a green mock neck under it just because the color of the jacket and then lastly is more of like a business casual piece but i love it i cannot wait to wear her because i never know what my style is one day i wake up and i want to be super girly one day i wake up i want to be a slob and then one day i want to wake up and i want to be like i want to dress like a rock star so take that with how you will you know what i mean but <laughs> this is the next piece it's just this really cute blazer and i love a good fun pattern piece of clothing even if that's a shirt a jacket pants love it I think it really spices up an outfit and really just pushes it to that like oh she actually tried and it's just really just nothing but a jacket but I know nothing about fashion this is just what I see off Pinterest and I get inspo off of Pinterest to, to shop I honestly wear a lot of sweaters in the winter time and in the summertime and fall I'm in graphic t-shirts so yeah, and I really love leggings because I hate wearing pants. Except these pants that I have on that I thrifted. They're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you like to thrift and if so, how often. Well, I know with COVID it's kind of hard, but how often you've been getting to go thrifting. I think it's great to thrift because you're really just helping the, with the environment by just, I guess you could say, recycling clothes so that it's not just going to a landfill. 
I love to thrift. I know a bunch of my friends also love to thrift and just to go to the thrift store just to find some things. I actually have something else I could show you that I thrifted. Actually two more things, but actually let's just go into those clips right now. Here is the planter that I was like, I got some more things to show you guys, but here it is. I got it for $7.99 and it's so stinking cute. I plan to put pompous grass in this. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you guys were these little espresso mugs. Not Well, I guess, yeah, you could say espresso mug, but they're so stinking cute. I actually got them from Habitat for Humanity in my hometown that I live in. And they're so stinking cute. Like, look at how cute those are. I freaking love them, and I got them for $2.50. So, if I want a little espresso shot, hello. So freaking cute. Perfect. Perfect perfect fit so yeah let's just get back to what i was just talking about <laughs> well we're back i hope you guys enjoyed those two things that i just showed you the planter is so freaking cute i got that for 7.99 and the cute little espresso cups and the little pitcher i got for 250 all together so three espresso cups and a and like a little pitcher that matches it for 250 and i think that's really cool but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye!